Mumbo Jumbo is well known as the most subscribed Hermitcraft member, as well as a redstone genius. While he has acquired a significant reputation due to these two elements and more, something not often talked about is the work he puts into his content and entertainingness. Specifically, his skins. Mumbo Jumbo creates lovely and well-made skins that add to the effect of the video and make the viewing experience so much more enjoyable. Today, as we once did with Grian, we will be looking at all of Mumbo Jumbo's skins and finding out which one is the best. If you didn't watch the last one, I recommend you do that after you finish this one, but something that will carry on in this video is the criteria for judging a skin. Obviously, my opinion is not important enough to judge, so I have these few categories to help me out. Oh, and before we get into the video, please do note that some skins may not appear in this video simply because they aren't on Mumbo's name MC, or because this video was pre-recorded by a few weeks, so if Mumbo Jumbo used a skin very recently, I'm sorry, I didn't have, I didn't know it was coming out. Let's get into the criteria. Criteria number one, impact or relevance to the plot. Out of 10, I will rank how much I think this skin contributed to the episode and how memorable or enjoyable that scene was, as well as the overall impact of that scene. Criteria number two, how detailed out of 10. I will determine how many changes occurred between changing the skins and how much work I think Mumbo Jumbo put into the skin. Criteria number three, how creative is it? And again, out of five this time, I will try to judge how cool of an idea I think the skin was. So, hmm, like, did he think about this a lot? Did he use an original? Something like that. And criteria number four, I will be giving my opinion, saying how much I like it out of five. And because it's just opinion, it is only out of five. So, oh, and please, before I begin, do consider subscribing and leaving a like if you do enjoy it. It would really mean the world to me. But thank you, I have been Weefies, let's get right into Mumbo Jumbo's best skins of Season 7 and Season 6. Today, I have gathered 8 candidates, all competing for the title of Best Mumbo Jumbo Skin. Oh, and also, please do leave a comment telling me what your favorite Mumbo Jumbo skin is, because of course, I would be really interested to know what you guys think. Obviously, my opinion will be different from yours, and so please do tell me what your favorite Mumbo Jumbo skin is. And if there is a recent one, be sure to scream at me for not covering it. Regardless, number 8 starting us off is going to be Stashless Mumbo. Mumbo Jumbo's mustacheless skin is a horrid sight for sure, but one that drove a very long and winding story about a mustache machine and some grain constantly flicking it to harass Mumbo. It was always funny when said grain and Mumbo paired up and recorded by the machine, and one could expect some funny outcomes whenever they were together. However, while the skin was hilarious and entertaining, it does not do so well with our criteria, getting a solid 8 out of 10 for plot, but only a 2 out of 10 for detail, because, let's admit it, it's just Mumbo without a mustache on, not too much work. I gave it a 2 out of 5 for personal opinion, simply because I don't like it very much. I don't dislike it either, but it's not really special. For creativity, I was a bit generous and gave the skin a 4 out of 5, because the whole idea of a mustache machine was very original and very creative, and I think it deserved a good rating. All of that said, with a score of 16, Mustacheless Mumbo comes in 8th place. Coming in at number 7 with just half a point more at 16.5 points is Demise Mumbo, or Dead Mumbo. For those few of you who are unfamiliar, Demise was a long-lasting game on the Hermitcraft server, while all the Hermits competed to see who went the longest, without dying. The prize? Nothing! Just kidding. The prize was 100 diamond blocks, pitched in by various hermits. Typically, when a hermit was killed, they switched their skin to grey, but sometimes with modification, and sometimes standard, like Grey and Mumbo. It was a truly fun event, and while I have spoiled to you that Mumbo, Jumbo, and Green did not win, you can still watch my video on the top right right now to see all of the depth and the winner of Demise. It's a really good video, I recommend you watch it. But after this one, of course. Back to the skin, however, Demise Mumbo is very standard, getting a solid 7 out of 10 for plot, but only a 2 in creativity and a 2.5 in opinion. The reason it scored an unlikely 5 in detail is because Mumbo Jumbo could not have made the skin with the Name MC black and white generator. Name MC has a built in black and white generator, but Mumbo Jumbo made this cool ghost effect by making the pixel just a bit lighter than usual, so I think he did that by hand and warranted him a 5. It looks really nice and gets an average score at best. With a mediocre 17 points, Saturated Mumbo Jumbo comes in at 6th place on our list. For those of you who are unaware, the skin was also a byproduct of Demise. Birthing from a machine Mumbo created to restore the colors in the Hermit's skins after they had gone black and white. However, the machine did not function as planned, making a very colorful Iskal and a very, very sunburned Mumbo Jumbo. The skin is unsettling, to say the least, and makes Iskal think of a vampire, which I can see actually. The skin gets a mediocre 6 in plot and in detail, and a 3 in creativity. 
because the malfunction of Mumbo's machine was not uncommon, whatever that says about his redstone skills is up for interpretation. But the idea of sunburning oneself with a machine and oversaturating is something unique to Mumbo's skin alone. Personally though, I am not fond of the skin and it gives off some weird vibes. As such, I only gave it a 2.5 or 2 out of 5 in opinion. But that was enough to get it in the top 6. Moving on now to number 5. Jumping up 2 points with a score of 18 is Molbo Gumbo. The skin is very, 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 very standard and is only able to maintain its position in the top 5 because of its 9 out of 10 in plot. The reason it scores so high is because of the event that it was linked to. The Hermitcraft Civil War was one of the best storylines on Hermitcraft ever, dare I say it. And you can watch me talk about it and learn more about other stories on Hermitcraft if you click the video in the top right. Recommend it again. TLDR, Mumbo Jumbo was hired by Grian and Iskal to snoop on the other team in the war by joining their ranks and secretly performing mole duties. While out in the field, Mumbo would assume these stylish shades and take notes in his journal about the whereabouts of his, quote, teammates. The skin rightfully only gets a 2 out of 10 for detail and a 3 out of 10 for opinion because, let's be honest, it's not that special. It's just Mumbo Jumbo with sunglasses. However, I did rank it a 4 out of 5 for creativity because the entire mole storyline was a nice one and a good addition to the overall war. However, now that that's out of the way, it's time for the top 4. The top 4 are all really close in score, but starting us off with a very good score of 21 is Golf Mumbo. This skin made its debut very early in the season. While the Architect boys Grian, Iskal, and Mumbo were out golfing in the incredible golf course made by Cubfan135. They all wore some nice attire for the event, Iskal even came dressed ready for tennis. Grian and Mumbo wore very similar elegant skins, consisting of kilts, little hats, and nice appropriate tunics. I gave the skin a 10 for detail, just because I think a lot of work was put into it, and it looks very professional and well done. I love the hat as well, it, it looks so adorable. It only gets a 5 for plot and relevance though, because this whole ordeal was just one episode after all. It gets both a 3 in creativity, and a 3 for opinion, because obviously a golfing skin would not be that creative, but the execution was well done. I also have no opinion on the skin overall. I think I like it, but not that much. It, it's just decent. Holding the number 3 spot with just one more point at 22 points overall is Mumscal, or M Mumbo and Iskal. This cross between Mumbo Jumbo and Iskal85 skins is horrific to say the least. If you remember from Saturated Mumbo, I briefly mentioned that both Iskal and Mumbo had been messed up by the malfunctioning saturator. Iskal's ingenious solution to this problem was to make a desaturator, a machine that looked nice on the outside and would violently squeeze and press the color out of anyone that dared to use it. While it seemed at first that Iskal's genius would go unflawed, it was only a matter of time before Mumbo decided to muck things up again and suggest they go into the presser together. That way, if one of them dies, they both die. Iskal agreed and together they hopped in. The result? Well, you already saw. They both came out as deformed and mangled up combinations of their combined skins. But hey, at least check out the crazy colors, right? Mumbo Jumbo's particular crossover is well done, earning it a 7 in detail which goes well with its 7 in plot, as this story is far from over and drives a whole bunch of more episodes, such as the Unjumbler. I give a 5 in creativity because this jumbling thing was a whole nother level of saturation and it was very funny and well, creative. In my opinion, the skin is pretty standard overall and doesn't look that bad, but it certainly doesn't look amazing. That's why I gave it a 3 in opinion. Overall, solid skin, I think it was really well done, and it was really, really funny to watch as well. Now, entering the top 2. The number 2 spot on this list is one that we are all too familiar with, and that is Bumbo Baggins. If you aren't familiar, this is Mumbo Jumbo's most recent skin at the time of recording and it is also very well made and appropriate for the situation. With the long anticipated start of the glorious season 7, Mumbo Jumbo and a few others chose to settle in a lovely jungle on the outskirts of the Mushroom Island. Mumbo started off his season with a nice little hobbit hole protruding off the side of a river cliff. However, Korean did also something very similar, and when he discovered the similarity in their bases, Korean called mimicry and defaced Mumbo Jumbo's house with his own hair, claiming to be the true hobbit. To prove his neighbor wrong, and to show that he was a superior hobbit, Mumbo altered his skin to match his claims, and became the now beloved Bumbo Baggins. This skin has been in videos for quite a while now, and the whole hobbit thing has led to many funny developments between the two that I won't spoil for the time being. 
As such, I gave it an 8 in plot and a 4 for creativity because the whole thing was very original and very nice. I liked the skin a lot and I think that it was really well made, and thus I gave it a 3 out of 5 for opinion and an 8 out of 10 for detail. It's clear that Mumbo, or at the very least a skin designer, put in a lot of effort to make the skin and I think it deserves that recognition. Be that as it may, this was not enough to put the skin in the number 1 spot, losing to first place by only 1 point. And now, before we talk about the number one Mambo Jumbo skin, I would just like to briefly ask that if you are not yet subscribed and still watching, then please do hit the subscribe button and give the video a like if you are enjoying it. I would really, really, really appreciate it, and you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. But that out of the way, number one. The holder of the number one spot with a very high 24 points out of a potential 30 is Army Man Mambo. This skin is definitely not one of the most memorable of his various skins, but I do think it is worthy of its number one spot. I gave it a 9 for plot, just because, just like I did for Mobile Gumbo, because this skin had a very big relevance that spanned multiple episodes in the war. I also gave it an 8 out of 10 for detail, because I think it was really, really well done. The colors are nice, same for the variety of pixel arrangements, and I think the hat covering the eyes is a lovely touch. For creativity, I gave it a 3, because it was a pretty standard war skin, nothing too special, but I also really like it, and as I said before, that hat is just mm, and really adds to the skin. So I gave it a 4 out of 10 for opinion. But that actually wraps up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this list, and if you did, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It would really mean the world to me. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next time. And what was your favorite Momo Jumbo skin? Please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching again, and peace out. Bye!